tripods are one of those essential tools that are heavily used by most photographers for sharp images. Though a tripod might look like a simple tool, there are some tips that you can follow to turn this simple tool into something more. So to make your photography career easier and pleasant, we are going to discuss the 5 best tips for a tripod to apply in photography. So without further ado, let's jump in. When it comes to shooting with a tripod, we simply think of putting a tripod in a place and start taking photos. Well, if you want to take the best possible images, things are not that simple as it sounds. Don't just put your tripod on any place and start shooting. Rather, you should first observe the whole environment. Look through the viewfinder of your camera, change height and angle to get the best composition out of the environment. After getting a clear understanding of the perfect height, angle, and place, then set up your tripod in the right position and start clicking. There are two types of locking mechanism of tripods, twist lock and clamp lock. I have both kinds of tripods, one with a clamp lock and the other one with a twist lock. But I personally prefer the twist lock more as it lets me quickly lock and unlock the tripod legs. But again, it is more of a personal preference. Now, about unlocking the legs. You should always unlock the lower section of the tripod first. The reason is, if you are shooting on a muddy or wet surface, only the bottom part of the tripod is affected. But if you release the top part first, you run into the risk of getting dirt on your locking mechanism, resulting in less durability of your locking system as well as your tripod. Now once you are done placing your tripod and setting it up, you might need to adjust the height of the tripod. And it's actually easy. The trick is to constantly adjust the tripod's height from the top part of the tripod and not from the bottom part. The reason is, if you are going to adjust the lower section of the tripod to get your desired height, not only is it difficult to do, but also you get yourself in a very awkward and uncomfortable position. On the other hand, if you adjust the height from the top section, you can do that while standing without bending your body around the bottom of your tripod. It also takes less time to adjust the height from the top part of the tripod as compared to doing it from the bottom part. Imagine you are shooting in a windy situation. In that case, your tripod might also move along with the wind. So to get more stability in those situations, most of the tripods nowadays provide a hook that lets you put an extra weight on your tripod for more stability. So you can hang your camera bag or backpack on the hook to get a crisp shoot even on a windy day. Speaking of camera backpacks, if you are looking for the best camera backpacks, please click on the i button shown on the screen. Extra weight is also helpful in case you have a very lightweight tripod and you are shooting at slower shutter speeds. But you have to be careful about the movement of the bag. If the bag you hooked onto your tripod also moves with the wind, it might introduce some level of shake to your tripod and you might end up shooting blurry images. There are situations in which you might need to place your tripod on uneven surfaces. For example, suppose you are shooting on a staircase. In that situation, you need to place two of the tripod legs on the downside of the slope. Again, it is more of a feel to you. If you think placing two legs on the higher surface creates more stability for you, you should definitely go for it. So that was all about the best tips for tripod to apply in photography. Following all those tips will not only make your photography career easier, but also ensure greater security to your tripod and camera gears. If you think you also know a few more tips about tripod photography, please let us know in the comment section.